God is good and all the time, God is good. Praise God. Welcome, welcome, welcome. There is a plot against you. They're plotting against you because you what? You have an excellent spirit. Yes, they are plotting against you because you have an excellent spirit. You carry the favor of God. God is with you. There is something in you that the presence and the princes doesn't have. You have no error. You have no fault because you walk faithful. You walk faithful in the things of God. Just like Daniel. I am going to go to Daniel. He was favored. He had an excellent spirit. And because he had an excellent spirit, he had no error. He had no fault. So the presidents and the princes could not find any fault in Daniel because he had no error. He had no fault in him. They tried on many occasions to try to entrap Daniel concerning the kingdom because the king Darius favored Daniel. There was something about his spirit. He had an excellent spirit. And I pray that you have an excellent spirit so you will be favored by God. But you see the president, the presidents and the princes was jealous of what he had. So they had a royal decree. They came together with the, with the presidents and the prince to pass a decree, a royal decree. So let me just jump to Daniel 6 and 3. Then this Daniel was preferred above the presidents and the princes because an excellent spirit was in him and the king thought to set him over the whole realm. So he wanted to set him over the whole kingdom. You, my friend, have an excellent spirit. So you are favored and they are jealous of you. They're jealous, they envy because God has given you an excellent spirit. Mm -hmm. People around you are jealous, your brethren in the church, your coworkers, your family, your husband, your wife. Huh. Don't think they cannot be jealous of you. They envy you, so they're plotting against you. Why, well, you didn't do anything wrong. No, you didn't. Because you have an excellent spirit and you are favored not only by God, but also by by the king. King Darius favored Daniel and wanted to put him over all the kingdom. And you see the presidents, there was three presidents and Daniel make forth, but they were jealous. And the princes, they were jealous. There were 120 princes over certain area of the kingdom and three presidents, including Daniel. But the king, King Darius favored Daniel and wanted to put him over the, all the kingdoms. You are favored, my friend. You have an excellent spirit and they are jealous of that and they are envy of the spirit that you have because you have the obedience to God. You pledge your allegiance to God Almighty, not to men. And you're obedient to the calling that God has placed upon your life. Is there an amen? Is there an amen? Glory to God. Amen. So they plotted against Daniel. Then the president and the princes sought to find an occasion against Daniel. They're trying to kill you. They're trying to rob you of your destiny. They're trying to destroy you. They're trying to steal the purpose upon your life against Daniel concerning the kingdom. But they could not find any occasion nor fault against you. 
Who am I speaking to? That is to you and for me. For as much as he was faithful, you are faithful to the things and the calling of God are placed upon your life. Neither was there any error or fault in Daniel or yourself. It was found in him. But that didn't stop them from coming up with a royal decree. No man shall pray and they say praying to idols, no other God. But Daniel, he didn't care. He didn't care. He prayed as he usually does three times a day. So everyone could see that he was praying. He was faithful to the obedience of God. He didn't stop what he always did. Not because they changed the law. You see, they could change the law to come up against you. But will you stop what you're doing for the kingdom? They would change the law to come up against a Christian. But would you stop praying? Would you stop confessing that Jesus Christ is king? He is Lord. They changed the law to entrap you, to entrap Daniel. Who am I speaking to? This is 2024, and there's plotting against the Christians. They are plotting to take away your amendment right to preach the word of God, to say, no, we don't stand for that. That is not the way of our God. And I'm going to the princes and the presidents. This is still in Daniel 7. The governors and the princes, the counselors and the captains have consulted together to establish a royal statue and to make firm decree that whosoever shall ask a petition of God, of any God or man for 30 days, save of thee, O king, he shall be cast into the den of lions. So they came up with this plot because they know Daniel was always praying that if he prayed to any other God, except for their God, <laughs> you will be thrown into the lion's den. You will be thrown into the lion den if you continue to pray to Jesus Christ, our Father in heaven. Do you know the time that we're living in in this season? They are plotting against you. He kneeled down. He kneeled down three times a day, Daniel, and prayed and gave thanks to God his, before his God, as he did four times. So, this decree was to entrap Daniel. And King Darius could not go back and what he signed and what it is until after after what the decree was expired he could not go back on him and they told the king has thou signed a decree that every man that shall ask a petition of any god or a man within 30 days save O thee O king shall be cast into the den of lions and the king answered and said the thing is true according to the law so he could not go back on his word and the law. And they knew this. So they're trying to entrap you like how they try to entrap Daniel. But God was with him because he was favored. So then, regardeth not thee, O king, nor decree, nor the decree that thou hast signed, but maketh this petition three times a day. Daniel prayed. And the king did not want to do it. But they said, did you not sign it? Are you not the king? Are you not going to go by your law that you signed? He did not want to come up against Daniel. But they pushed him. He was so sore and displeased with himself and set his heart on Daniel to deliver him. And he labored till the going down of the sun to deliver him. Then these men assembled unto the king and said unto the king, Now, O king, that the law of the Medes and the Persians 
is that no decree, no statutes had the king established may be changed. He cannot change his own law that he signed in. So Daniel was put into the lion's den. And then the king asked him, Thy God whom thou servest continually, he will deliver thee. But the God that Daniel served did deliver him from the dens of the lion den, from the lion's den. You see, he was sure that God would deliver him. And if he did not deliver him, it would be okay with him. Because he believed that he was being protected and will be protected by God. So God did deliver him from the lions. He was protected. But he stand firm in his faith and his belief that no matter what, I will not go back. I will not bow down to any other God than Jesus Christ, than Jesus Christ. He was firm. He knew that if he served, he knew the law that was changed. And he knew that no matter what, he's not going to stop praying three times a day. He didn't hide it. Are you hiding your Christianity? Are you hiding your faith? Are you hiding being a servant of God? Are you telling people about Jesus Christ? Are you walking in obedience to Jesus Christ and to the word of God? Daniel was protected. Then said Daniel unto the king, when the king came the next day, he rushed to see if Daniel was alive. O Daniel, servant of the living God, is, is thy God whom thou servest continually able to deliver thee from the lions? And Daniel said, then said Daniel unto the king, O king, live forever. My God has sent his angels and has shut the lion's mouth and they have not hurt me. And he was happy. That was an entrapment because they were jealous and envy of what you have. They are jealous and envy of what God has placed upon you and in your life. Even the people that know you, they plotted. Are they plotting to kill you, destroy you? For the enemy comes to steal, rob, and destroy. Because you have something that they don't have. And they don't understand what's placed upon your life. My God, who am I speaking to? And the king commanded, and they brought those men which have accused Daniel, and they cast them into the den of the lions. Them, their children, their wives, and the lion had the mastery of them and break all their bones in pieces or even they came pieces or every they came at the bottom of the den. So not only the one that plotted against Daniel was consumed by the lions, their families, their children, Don't play with God anointed. Don't play with God anointing one. Don't come up against who God have called and chosen for himself. Be careful. Because you yourself will be thrown into the dens of the lions. If you come up against a mighty man and woman of God, for no reason, because you are envious and jealous of what God has placed upon them and what God had put into their heart. He had an excellent spirit. He had no error and no fault, but yet still, yet still they plotted against him. 
You, my friend, have an excellent spirit. You have an excellent spirit. You're obedient to the will and the word of God. There is no stopping you. Once you are obedient and follow the word and the will of God placed on your life. Even though they are plotting against you, you shall come out with victory. Because the angel of the living God shall protect you. Just like he has protected Daniel, he shall protect us. He shall shut them out of the lion. And you shall come out in victory. Praise God. Praise God. The victory is yours because you are obedient to the word of God. And you have an excellent spirit. Until next time. Keep that excellent spirit. Keep that excellent spirit because we're going to need it in 2024 for the rest of the year. May God be with you and your family and keep the faith and be obedient to the will of God. Amen. Glory to God.